Well, they've done a good job of getting all this stuff ready, you know, modernizing it. Well, you know, we're working on it. We're working with a guy who's actually a friend of mine who does restoration um, of historic buildings. And uh, we're working with him. Let me grab this other stuff if that's on. So this is Carl. Who was the guy that, there's a, a historical marker out here for him. They said he was really more famous overseas. He joined the Air Force. Does that name ring a bell? That Paul Petco, this is him. So this is the guy that was really more famous over in Europe than he is here. Yeah, this is them inside there. I saw that photo the other day. That's really cool stuff. And then you've got the May West. That looks like me. It's got a question mark, but it does look like it. Jazz. And then the Arkansas Playboys. That's an original look to the place. Fancy Domino, George Jones. Now a lot of people don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop um, some knowledge right here on you, friends. Back in the day, George Jones played rockabilly, and he did not go by George Jones. Can anybody tell me what he went by? You can put your comments below. <laughs> and look at that photo. That is ultra cool. And that tower still, still over there. there? All of it's that still was, there? Um, this was Berman Farm Hardware. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid, this was the hardware store. This was our Home Depot. And they had a gift shop in there, and that's where you went to buy the fancy gifts, like anniversary gifts mm -hmm. and things. Wedding really? Gifts. So it looks like kind of like a Sears yeah. or a Western Auto mm -hmm. type deal. So it still it, says Bourbon Far Hardware on it. It has been, as a matter of fact, it won an, uh, a state award for restoration projects. It has been restored now, and it is apartments. Really? Yes. That is cool looking apartments. Yes, it's been restored. But as a kid, I remember my grandmother used to take me in there, and she'd yell at me not it's, to touch it. So, which building? Where where are we at? Okay, this is the this is the Grimm Hotel. Okay, and they're supposed to be restoring. They the are restoring it. Okay, they, and um, we can't see it from here. Well, yes, we can. I can. We. I'll show you. We can show off the window. So this this is so this is that way. The okay. post office is over here. Okay. Our big post office is over here. So we are right now over in here. Over in there. Yeah. Very um, cool. But the Grimm, I saw Grimm, that they had put together some money to restore right, it. Right. This is the Grimm. Um, this building here is the one, if you've been down on Broad Street, mm -hmm. you'll see a building down there that they're tearing all the concrete front off mm -hmm. of it. This is that building, mm -hmm. the, the Tetracana National Bank. They're tearing the facade off that and taking it back down to the original brick and marble. Um, Right in here is the Regional History Museum. This is the oldest standing brick building in Texarkana. Wow. It, um, it's the Texarkana, it used to be the Offenhauser building. It's the Texarkana Museum of Regional History right now. Uh, this was the old medical arts building. It's vacant right now, but it is still there. Uh, the Grimm Hotel, that's the landmark building. Now this here is where the Bi-State Justice Building is, mm -hmm. which is the police department and um, Miller County Jail. Mm -hmm. Now, when I was a kid, there was a pool hall in the basement of this building called the Subway, and I grew up in that pool hall. <laughs> My grandfather played pool. But these buildings are all still here. There's something different now, but they're all still here. That is cool. That's, I, I love it when they keep things. You know, so many of the Elvis things that I go to are gone, sadly. They've all been torn down. And I got you to touch that, and now it won't, it won't balance there. Sorry. <laughs> As long as COVID, you know, nobody comes in. Yeah, but this is really cool stuff. But after COVID, they will be able to come and see these okay. kinds of things. Okay, very cool. Awesome. Back, when, I called, um, when I called Mary, the city manager, about letting you in, she said, well, I was just going to call you because she said, we have a group of women bikers coming mm -hmm. to town, and they want to tour the auditorium. And she's going to be out of town. She wanted to know if I was comfortable. Very cool. So the fans would have come down here to leave, and they just saw Elvis, <laughs> or Johnny Cash, or Roy well, Orbison. Again, you know, my mother grew up here, and I'll take you 
where I think. Okay, I'm gonna stick this back up. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, that'd be great. That my mother, my mother used to barrel raise when she was a kid. Mm -hmm. And back in the early days, Loretta Lynn would come here and play the Four States Fair and Rodeo. Mm -hmm. And she had the twins. And Loretta Lynn has twins. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother would watch her twins while Loretta Lynn would sing. Really? That's cool. I saw some uh, horse people in uh, that Elvis played at the Fair Park Auditorium. Mm -hmm. Or. Now, I have never been down here. I'm going to read it. Oh. <laughs> but I asked the other day, I said, where do these stairs go? All right, so this is the picture that I'm trying to figure out. And you know what? I walked right by this and did not recognize it. I was looking for this to be down in the dressing rooms. This is the spiral staircase to the left of Elvis. That pole between Elvis and Gene, you will see in this screenshot of us walking through. You see that pole to her left and you see the poles around the stairs. I'll show you the photo again. And you can see the big post that you saw to her left is on Elvis's right. The post that is in the middle of the spiral staircase is on Elvis's left, as well as some of the handrails. And you see that radiator that's on the right. When she walks by right here, I get a shot. The radiator would have been right there where that pipe going through the wall is, somewhere along in there. So Elvis was literally right here. Incredible. I don't even know what's down here. We might die. Hopefully not. But I have a flashlight if we need it. Pole in the in the photograph. So this is one dressing room. This would have been the entrance to the stage. So okay, so this is the stage. This would be the stage entrance. And the stage is over your head now. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how they would have gone on the stage right here. This is dressing rooms, no doubt. See a pole? All right, let's see here. So these are definitely dressing rooms, and they're definitely original. And in fact, they're like crazy original. Yeah, this would have been the stage. That's the actual stage right there. Yeah, and that's where they built this wall again. They just built it on top. That's the bottom of the yeah, concrete we were standing I, I on. I wasn't here then, so I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to step up on yeah. This is how they would have gotten on the stage. So I'm assuming it holds it. <laughs> so this is the actual stage, y'all. This is it. This is incredible. And it may be that this was backstage. You see that there's another set of steps. You see that that's that level. I think that's the stage level right there. So this would have put them behind the stage. And then they would have gone up. But that's how they would have gotten to the dressing rooms. So Elvis and all of them definitely went right through right there. And is there a post back here, a pole, where they took those pictures backstage, maybe, instead of a dressing room? Yeah, no pole there. I'm going to look at my picture again. Yeah, I don't know But this is really cool. I mean, this is original. 
Yeah, this is the way it looked. I'm going to shoot a photograph. You know. This is absolutely original. Man, if that pole was somewhere, that would be crazy. Yeah. And they'll flip they, in like that. And it just kills me that they ever take them out or close them up. Over at the Ace of Clubs house, they have them in all the wind doors in that house so that they don't open anymore. And as we go back up the spiral staircase, which Elvis no doubt used, we're going to see another photograph with fans. And I think this may have actually been Elvis's dressing room, this little room at the top of the stairs. Look, right there is where this picture was taken at. You see that giant pole to Elvis's left. Happened right there, friends. This is incredible. I hate that I missed that while I was there. But I think Elvis was literally dressing here, or either he was standing there meeting people backstage and then go back downstairs. But no doubt he went up and down that spiral staircase, no doubt. So there you have it, friends. We're in the inside City Hall where Elvis played many, many times. Thank you so much for doing this. It was a it was a big deal. We're, the just, people love it. I'm just glad that somebody, you know, besides us, is paying attention. To yes, ma'am. Well, we're interested in it for sure. There's m many fans interested, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, you're, and I got your card. Yes, ma'am. I don't have a card, but you can call City Hall. Yes, ma'am. And get us if you need anything else. All right. Very good. Thank, Thank you so much. Be careful going back. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. You're Y'all have a great day. So friends, there you have it. Elvis played right here, and they embrace it. Darn you, COVID. The original city historic district. This is 3rd, East 3rd and Walnut Street, that you can find municipal auditorium. We were just in the bowels of it checking out all this stuff yes we were thank you jesus so friends i am in arkansas right now in texarkana this is north state line road and i don't know the cross street Dag on it what is the cross street i'm gonna walk out here that is it looks like west third yep i'm north state line and west third this is the hotel grim and the hotel grim is very famous but was shut down for a long, long time, and you can see it's under restoration. It looks like it's going to be beautiful. They've really appropriated a lot of money to get this thing back in order. And it looks like, the facade looks like a hotel from um, the one by Central Park uh, in New York City. You've got those giant flagpoles sticking out of the front and stuff. It looks very, reminds me of that, of that hotel. So this building right here is the Museum of Regional History. This is the oldest brick structure in Arkansas, and it is still here. And it is actually still a working museum. And this is West 3rd Street, just basically across the street from the Hotel Grimm, right here. So at some point, you'll be able to come stay here. And I uh, hope the Grimm Reaper doesn't. I don't know about the name Hotel Grimm. That, that doesn't sound quite right. So imagine, they loaded out down here. That's to the auditorium. That's the way they would have loaded in and out. The dressing rooms, you know, were right down here. But the auditorium is up there. So they would have loaded out through here, no doubt. They get the Cadillac loaded up. Could have been the gray Cadillac before it was pink. Could have been the pink Cadillac, but we know the pink Cadillac burn coming here. By the way, the time that they hopped in uh, the vehicle, after after the car burned they were going to be late to get to their next show so they had to take an airplane and somebody drive the car and meet them down in texas so imagine they hop in the car they've got to run back over to the hotel probably and rest 
and get their stuff or take showers after the show. We don't know, but I'm going to show you again where the hotel is as opposed to here. So let's just take a little quick ride. It's not far. Just so you can get a feel for it. So they would have come out right here. There was a building in this parking lot, by the way, at that time. And that Berman Parr hardware was there, as the lady mentioned. And that water tower was there. They would have come out and turned right, right here. They say that, she says that hardware right there is lofts now, it's apartments. That is really cool looking. And they would have come to the hotel, which is right here where the donut place is. So that's how close the hotel was, right here. So friends, I did try to figure out where the Cadillac went to. I can't find any stories, any references, any anything, but this is one of the oldest junkyards in Texarkana. So I did come here, A1 salvage, and at least ask some guys that been around. But of course, you know, 85 year old people are not gonna be working at the junkyard. You know, most of these people were born way after that happened. And I even showed a guy that been here a long time, a, uh, a photo of it. He said that car has probably been crushed and gone a long, long, long time ago. Sadly, nobody thought to even keep it, which is accurate. So I'll still work on it, see if I can figure it out, ask more questions. But so far, I really don't have any leads on it. Friends, you don't see that right there much. It's an old airplane sitting by the road. That's the Rock and Roll Highway right there, 67. And it is right there by the airport. That looks like the airport right there. Interesting. So friends, this is the Rock and Roll Highway. This is Highway 67. Elvis's pink Cadillac burned right down here just a few miles on the left-hand side heading this way from Hope, crossing the bridge in Fulton. This place was called the Electric Cowboy. Back in the day, it was called the Hut Club. And in fact, I know that that building is the correct building. And the reason that I know it is look at the shape of the sign. It's shaped like a hut. So Elvis definitely played right there, no doubt. Let's go take a look. So we've got to go in here and check it out. That building that you see on the left was the Electric Cowboy and, play, and people like Garth Brooks played there. That was a place where big country acts. Now it is a, it's called Red River. It is actually a marijuana dispensary. But if you look, the shape of that sign is like a hut. That was the hut club. Elvis and Scotty and Bill played here November 17, 1955. After playing Municipal Auditorium in Texarkana. This is right off of I-67, uh, what they call the Rock and Roll Highway, as I showed you. And we're going to go inside and take a little look-see at what's left. Stay tuned. So I'm going to just film this again since I know the story. Make it a lot easier to edit. So you see that the sign is shaped like a hut. It eventually became the Pines Country Club or the Pines Club, Inc. is what it actually says on the sign. And it burned. But this right here is the building. We're gonna walk in it. It is still here. So Scotty and Elvis and Bill and DJ played this little room right here. It is tiny. Look at all the records and stuff that are but that was a chance back then, guys, they needed, they needed gas money and food money and hotel money. So they would play anywhere. If you had money for them, 
they would literally play anywhere. And look, there's a ZZ Top CD right there. Burn. So they kept the music playing in here. But this was the Hut Club. Incredible. Just another little piece of that Elvis puzzle. I'll send you some. Yeah, when I saw the sign, I'm like, and it, it, look, it's possible that this is a different structure because it burned and they used the original sign, the Hut Club sign. But that's definitely a sign that I would expect the Hut Club to have. And it may be that the hut was shaped like a hut and it was different than this. We'll see if we can find some photographs. But irregardless, this is the site of it, no doubt. It happened right here. Rock and Roll Highway right out there, friends. So we played Longview, Texas, which is not far from here, actually 80 miles. It says southwest, so let's see which way it would make us turn. So it would have made us turn to the right, which is towards Texas. Now I'm headed to Camden, Arkansas. So let's say which way it wants me to turn, which is 68 miles the other way. I'm not going to Texas yet. That's a, that's a month of filming. Yeah, Trey's going to be with me on that because that's, that's going to be crazy. That's going to require some nav a navigator on that deal. So we're going to get out here on the Rock and Roll Highway, friends, and we're going to head to the next spot. Stay tuned. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.